The second video is going to focus on indentured servants and what they are and how they contributed to the colonization of North America. Uh, as a common person in England, life was rather tough. There was very little money, there was a lot of work to do, and there were, a lot, there were very few opportunities for people. And so the colonies looked like they could be a place to start a new life. So many English people were attracted to the colonies and wanted to move there, but they could not afford passage to go from England to North America. It was very expensive, um, comparative. So um, to go across the ocean might have cost people two or three years worth of wages. Um, and the companies, the joint stock companies like the London Company and others, they knew that people couldn't afford passage. And so they did two things. First, they wanted to get a lot of people to come and work for them. So they used ads to create interest. And then they um, offered to purchase people's, purchase people's time in exchange for passage across the ocean. So if you look over here on the right, um, here is a, a um, offering or an ad used to create interest by the London company. And it says, Nova Britannia offering most excellent fruits by planting in Virginia. So fruits, um, you know, like uh, benefits, and exciting, all such as well affected to further the fame. So if you were to go and join this, these people going from England to North America and colonizing, you would have excellent fruits, be it money, food. You'd be excited. You'd have excitement and you'd have great fame or under the same. So, um, you know, it, it, these people used advertisement to make people interested and excited about going. Uh, so there you go. Your definition of an indentured servant is a worker who sold their labor for a period of time in exchange for passage to the colonies in America. So um, the system of indentured servitude was really interesting and it allowed the colonies to be settled and it allowed work to be done. It allowed people to get out of the old world, out of England, and come to North America and it paid for the colonists' trip across the uh, ocean and it got people a start here in the new world. Um, these people were not slaves. They worked under contract. They had an agreement, and their agreement was typ typically something like, we will work for you, London Company, for seven years if you pay for our passage across the, North, the, uh, the Atlantic, and if at the end of our contract you give us something, be it tools or land, normally in the um, agreement was was um, being set up after the contract was over. Once their contract was over, they were free to do whatever they wanted. They were free men. So indentured servants came to the new world by having someone pay for their passage. That someone could be a joint stock company. It could also be somebody who was already in the colonies, who was making a profit, who was rich. And they could afford to pay for somebody to come over and pay that passage and then pay to, um, to feed and clothe them for the next seven years of the indenture. And then they would get that work out of them. So the, they agreed to work for them for an agreed upon number of years. After the term of service was over, they were free to start their own farm. Uh, the contract stated conditions of agreement, such as food, drink, clothing, housing, and what the indentured servant would get after the length, length of service was over. And the need for these workers was the fact that um, colonies, colonies and other colonists needed workers to farm the land due to, in Jamestown, success of cotton, but in everywhere, um, the success of all of these different crops that were being grown, these different cash crops like tobacco, indigo, rice, and cotton. At first, they used indentured servants from England, but then indentured servitude became pretty widespread, used by the French, used by everybody. Um, now you can see that this indenture says, the indentured made this day of whatever, it'd be a date in there, in the year of our sovereign lord, King Charles, between 
maybe Jim of one party and Tom on the other party. So between the indentured servant and the person purchasing the indenture, witnessed that the said indentured servant hereby doth hereby covenant or agree, promise to grant to and with the said blah, 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 his executors and assignees. Now here's where it really gets interesting. And after four and during the term of how many years, so say seven years typically, in such service and employment as the said Jim or his assignees shall there employ him, according to the custom of the country and the like kind, um, in consideration whereof, the said person making the agreement, we said was Tim, to pay for his passage and to find him with meat, drink, apparel, and lodging. So this indentured servant is going to be fed, going to have his passage paid for, going to be given um, stuff to drink, is going to be given food and housing with other necessities during the said term, and at the end of the term to give him one whole year provision of corn and 50 acres of land. So this person's going to get food, drink, clothing, lodging, and the passage across the Atlantic, and 50 acres of land, and a year worth of corn, and all of that for seven years worth of labor. Now some would say that's a pretty good deal, others might say that's a crummy deal. Um, it turns out indentured servitude is pretty rough. It's not a, it's, it wasn't like these people were treated well. They weren't treated like slaves and beaten, but they were not treated well at all. Typically indentured servants died. Uh, those that survived have written accounts where it's very, it was very harsh and they were very unhappy. And, um, it's even a lot of different rules were made. If you were an indentured servant, your the owner of your indenture could tell you who and who not to marry and could allow you to marry and not allow you to marry. So um, it was quite the system that we're going to be looking at. And it But the point of it that you need to know is that indentured servitude allowed the land to be worked. And it's partly the root of the colonists that came here. Um, many colonists that went on to survive and spread and build lives and families came as indentured servants.